Let's get right into the Illustrator general preferences. On a Mac, go to the Illustrator dropdown preferences. On PC, go to Edit dropdown and you'll find preferences there. General preferences. First up, keyboard increment is basically how far your objects will scoot when you press your arrow keys on your keyboard. It's default at one pixel. And when you hold shift, it's 10x this increment. Constrain angles like changing the x and y axis in Illustrator. So depending on what angle you set here, you're setting the default way that shapes will move. This can be helpful helpful if you're needing to create artwork at a very specific angle and you don't want to have to continually input that angle into your document. The corner radius you set here is basically the default corner radius of the rounded rectangle tool. So you can change that if you'd like a different default radius. Disable auto add and delete has to do with the pin tool. You know how when you've got the pin tool and you're clicking around and you're hovering over different anchor points and you can either add an anchor point to your path or if you're hovering over a current one, you could subtract it or delete it. Well, you can disable that if you want to and you want to specifically use hotkeys or different tools in your toolbar to switch back and forth between adding and subtracting. This is the disable function there, but default auto add and delete is on. By default, the mouse cursor will match the tool that you're using in Illustrator, but you can select use precise cursors to change that to a simple X, no matter the tool that you're using. Show tool tips will show different information or the tool that you're currently hovering over. So if you hover over tool in Illustrator, it'll show you a little tool tip of what that tool is. Like for instance, hovering over the shape builder tool will say shape builder tool. If you don't want those to show up, you can uncheck this. Show and hide rulers should basically be always show rulers. If you have this check and before you open a document, you show rulers, it'll show rulers in any document you open in Illustrator by defaults. So that's what this setting is here for. Anti-aliased artwork has to do with exporting and also viewing your document. Basically anti-aliasing is like putting in little pixels to help sort of fuzz the edges, especially when you have curves and such. It'll look a little bit more realistic like a curve rather than just a stair step of solid pixels. So with this check marked, you're going to be seeing that it's going to be default when you're exporting. If you need to work with pixel perfect precision, and you want only the pixels to show that you specifically set there, then make sure you turn this off. Select same tint percentage is kind of interesting. When you use select same to select the same fill or stroke color, and this box is checked, then only objects with the same tint percentage will be selected. Show the home screen when no documents open is pretty much self-explanatory. The home screen where you see all the different templates and recent projects you've opened will show if this is checkmarked. Using the legacy file new interface is when you're creating a new file, the old interface will show if this box is checked. Without it being checked, you'll see the most updated version of whatever Adobe's released for Illustrator as far as creating new files. When you're creating objects here in Illustrator, and let's say you create something with a stroke, if that stroke is centered or even aligned to the outside, it's telling it to align to the outside of the path that you have drawn. When you then line up those objects, they line up to the path. The stroke way could overlap. Using preview bounds means that Illustrator will view the object as a whole object, not just where the path is. So if you were to line up two objects that have a centered stroke, they're going to line up where the end of the stroke is, not where their paths are. Display print size at 100% zoom means that at 100% zoom in Illustrator, one inch, one centimeter will show as that size on your monitor. Append converted upon opening legacy files. That simply means that when you open an older version of Illustrator file in a newer version of Illustrator, it's going to append converted with the brackets to the actual file name, letting you know, hey, this file has been converted. If you don't want that to happen, you can uncheck this. Show system compatibility issues at startup. If you have compatibility issues with your system, Illustrator is going to let you know. If Illustrator works fine for you, but there's something that keeps coming up every time, you could uncheck this so that that window or dialog box doesn't pop up every time. For the most part, this is there to help you understand if something's going wrong with your system. Double click to isolate means, for instance, if you have a group of objects and you double click into them, you go into isolation mode, which means you hop into that group where you can only edit that group and nothing outside of it. And then you can double click, double click, double click to go into even more isolation modes if you have groups within groups. Very useful feature. I use it all the time. I don't know why I would turn it off. If it's an annoying thing for you because you double click for other reasons or accidentally double click, then you could turn this one off. 
Use Japanese crop marks if you have any reason to do that. Here's where you can turn it on. I don't, so I leave this one off. If you work with patterns a lot and want to transform and scale the pattern and the object at the same time, you need to check transform pattern tiles. Otherwise, your object will scale, but your pattern is just gonna stay the same inside of it. Scale corners and scale strokes and effects. These guys are very related, and they're related to that last one, that transform pattern tiles. Scale corners with this check mark, your corner will scale up with the object, but otherwise they will not. They will stay as the same size corner or same radius corner. Scale strokes and effects, same thing. This is one that's also in the transform panel when you're inside of your project. These are just the default options as far as what your Illustrator documents start at. So you can turn this on or off depending on how you like to work, but just so you know, this is where those default options are. Enabling content aware defaults is kind of an interesting one that I don't think I've run into too much in my work in Illustrator. However, there are certain tools and functions like cropping and using Puppet Warp where Illustrator will use content aware to automatically detect certain features of those functions. So they might place puppet warp pins in automatic locations or suggest a crop to you. So if you're using these and they're annoying, you can turn off those automatic defaults here. But if they're helpful, then that's why this is checkmarked. Honor scale on PDF import tends to refer to large scale artwork. So if you created some large scale artwork and you're trying to import that PDF into Illustrator, Illustrator might shrink that down, but if you have this selected, it will consider the scale of the artwork while it's importing. Zoom with the mouse wheel. If you have a mouse wheel on your mouse, you can zoom with it if you turn this guy on. I do not, so I pretty much just move around my document whenever I'm using my mouse. And last, finally, we have two buttons down here. We can reset all the warning dialog boxes, or we can also reset all of our preferences just by clicking either of those. And once you have these settings set, make sure you hit OK. And that is the general preferences here in Adobe Illustrator. We'll be going over all the other preferences, every tab there on the left hand side. I'm going to do one video for every one of these because there's a lot of preferences in Illustrator. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.